amen again? Amen. Say amen one more time. How many of y'all just glad to be here tonight? Listen, I know it's late. It might be late for some of y'all. It might not. But how many have truly enjoyed yourself tonight? Come on, don't fool me. If you truly enjoyed yourself tonight, give God a big praise in this building tonight for me. Come on. Listen, how many ever had to tell God thank you for the things that you have, for what God has done for you? How many of you? Sometimes we go to God and instead of going to God, asking God for stuff, simply sometimes we just need to tell God thank you. Do I have any witnesses in the house tonight? If I got any saints in the house tonight that just want to tell God thank you, come on, let me hear you say thank you, Jesus. Somebody thanking him for what he's done for you. Somebody's thanking him for healing your body. Somebody's thanking him for making a way out of no way. But I just want to thank him. Can I thank him tonight? And if y'all help me, if y'all like my little song, I want y'all to clap y'all hands while we do our song tonight. It's a simple song that says thank you for what you've done. Come on, y'all help me. Thank you. 
one of my knees. But Rudy, Rudy, AJ, David, and Junior, I need y'all to ease up to the mic real sweet and help me when I say it.
Y'all all right? Y'all doing all right? Huh? Yeah, we all still stay. Huh? Listen, listen. It's about time for me to go. But before I go, I want to do a song that's dear to my heart. Throw my towel, Joe. I want to do a song. This song. I do this song because this song is a testimony for me. Amen. And I'm going to tell y'all why I like doing this song. And if I can get somebody that can witness to this song, listen while we say the words.
cost 2005. Let me tell you why I praise him like I do. Come here, Reggie, in 2005. Let me tell you why I praise him like I do. Because you never know when it's going to be your last time. You never know when it's going to be your last time. You see my brother here at 27 years old suffered a brain steel stroke. And I didn't know that he wasn't going to never play drums for me again. I didn't know that he wasn't going to never sing in my background again. I didn't know that he wasn't going to be able to drive to my house and visit me again. I didn't know that he wasn't going to be able to see like he could once before. Y'all ain't praying with me. I didn't know that he wasn't going to be able to walk like me and Rhoda and Junior could again. The doctors told my mama that he wasn't going to make it to live to see the next day. But that was almost 10 years, 11 years, however long it's been. But y'all look at my brother. He may not walk the best. I need some sense in here. He may not talk the best. But I thank God. I thank God that my brother's still here. Y'all know, they ain't anybody know that, that there's power in the name of Jesus. They ain't anybody know that that's healing in the name of Jesus. Y'all don't fool me here. They ain't anybody know that God can do anything but fail. I need you to touch and agree with somebody and say, neighbor, say I might not be what I ought to be. Say I might not be what I should be. Come on, I need somebody to testify here. So I might not be what you want me to be. But I thank God that I'm not what I used to be. Yeah, yeah. There ain't anybody that can give God praise. And there ain't anybody that know God will bring you out. And there ain't anybody that know God will deliver right on time. And there ain't anybody that know that God will make a way out of the world. There ain't anybody that know that God will. The enemy has got to flee from you. And I need somebody in this house. I need somebody to listen. I don't want you to do it because I'm asking you. But I want you to do it because you really need Jesus in your life. I want you to, I want you to move from where you at real quick. And I just want you to move to the place where God is getting ready to bless you. Come on, make your way, make your way. Come on, it don't matter. Step out in the aisle. Just move from where you at. And step out in the aisle where God is getting ready to bless you. Because the devil thinks he got you bound right there where you at. The devil thinks that he has you right there where you at. But I need you to make your way in the aisle and say, Lord, I need you to bless me. Come on, shout it out to him and say, Lord, I need you to deliver me. Come on, shout it out to him. Somebody been sick and say, Lord, I need you to heal me. Say, Lord, I need you to do it for me. I need you to do it for me. Come on, shout, do it for me, Jesus. When you want to do it, say, all right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. All right now, Jesus. All right now, Jesus. All right now, Jesus. Watch this. Watch this. If you know God will do it, watch this. You don't have to wait until tomorrow. You don't have to wait 
for your healing to come tomorrow. You don't have to wait for your deliverance to come tomorrow. The Bible said that when praises goes up, that blessings will come down. The Bible says when praises goes up, that blessings will come down. And don't nobody know what you've been through but you and God. But if you know that it was God that brought you out, do two things. Hold up your left hand. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up your left hand. Wrong, wrong. He proved his love on Calvary. When Jesus. 